get started. Hi, this is Erin Andrews, and I'm going to be doing a series of reports chronicling the life of a student athlete from his senior year in high school all the way to his college graduation. I have found the perfect subject for this Road to Glory series, and it's time to get started.
Now that our young athlete has decided where he will play his college ball, we look forward to seeing how his career progresses. Does this young man have what it takes to become a legend? We'll find out as we follow him down the road to glory. For EA Sports, this is Aaron Andrews.
Greetings from EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler and along... First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Brought down at the 14. Down there on the field at linebacker, we've got one special player. He's the heart and soul of this defense, and they're going to need him today more than ever as they go up against a very talented running back. If there's anyone who can bring the wood to this running back, then it's got to be this linebacker. That's right, he's a tough one. There should be some really good collisions in this game. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Looking, Manning zips it, and he's got him on the run. He's all the way down to the 38-yard line. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. The Ducks come out going three wide. Mayfield, the ball carrier, and they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Mayfield gets three yards on the carry. Second down and seven. Ball on the 41-yard line. He drops back. Looking, rolls right, Manning, throws it out there. He's hit and got away. Down the sideline, to the 20, to the 10, and he's in there, touchdown. He hauled in the long pass for the touchdown. This receiver is big time, big play. If this were baseball, he'd bat cleanup because he's the biggest home run threat they got. First and 10, ball on the 24 yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Aaron and out long. And he will score. Terrific pass, and the wide out hauls it in for the touchdown. Brad, the wide receiver's route was the key on that play. You're right, Kirk. His route running really has improved, and the quarterback has been throwing his way a lot more. They're threatening inside the 20. Manning, back in the gun. Tackle at the 16. Second down, 10 yards to go. From the gun. They'll give it off here. He's tackled at the 10. They'll get six yards. On the 10-yard line, the Ducks come out in a shotgun. Drops back to pass. He looks, throws it. He's got a touchdown. Depending on what team you're rooting for here, you're either really excited or you're ready to hit the reset button. Well, I hope these guys aren't ready to throw in the towel just yet. We've got over three quarters of football yet to play. They need to come up with some big plays on both sides of the ball. Maybe a big kick return here, and that'll get them going and get them back into this game. From the 32-yard line, first down. Oregon comes out with five receivers. 391. Ferguson off the gut. Herring tackles him for a loss on the play. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually break down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Mayfield gets the ball. Brought down at the 22-yard line. That was a great ball. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Looking, he's going right. Complete, what a catch. 
They're moving the ball very well on this drive, guys. Yep, the defense is preventing the deep ball, but the problem is they can't stop the short stuff. And the offense seems to be building a little bit more momentum on every play. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Back to pass. Manning with a bullet. Got his man. Touchdown. And he makes his second visit to the end zone with that catch. Well, that was a great catch by the receiver. He ran a perfect route to get open for his second score of the game. It's first and ten. Ball of the 35. New Mexico comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Steps up. He unloads it. And he got it! And he's all the way down to the two-yard line. Perfect time for the play-action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play-action put him in even a worse position. They just weren't ready for the pass there. In the red zone again. Let's see if there'll be another touchdown. Touchdown, Oregon! Another touchdown. Why not? This just goes to show you that there is more to playing defense than emotion. You can't continuously play out of position like this. Or you're going to find yourself in a lot of mismatches. And today, those mismatches have turned into touchdowns. We've got a first and ten. Manning lines up in the shotgun. Manning hands it off. A little juice. Tackle at the 21. It's first down. The Ducks with four receivers. Manning hands off. Herring with a takedown at the 19-yard line. The halfback gets a couple there on the counter. time they were in the red zone they got a touchdown out of it Mayfield gets the call again Mayfield gains around eight yards on the run from the 11 yard line third down less than a yard Manning comes to the line with three wide Mayfield gets another carry touchdown Oregon so they call his number and he gets into the end zone again that was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. Yeah, this kid showed up to play today. I really like what I've seen from him so far. They line up at the 10. It's first down. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Tackles him at the 13. They line up at the 13. It's second and seven. The defense is playing the pass on this one. Looks. He rolls out to the right. He throws. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 41. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. They're packed in tight on the line. Mayfield hits it on the inside, and they make the stop at the 15. An incredible series for the defense, and they get them out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. Oregon will line up in a jumbo set here. Manning back to throw. Looks. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They took a gamble, but they lost. Well, that gamble could really end up hurting him because if the opposing offense scores, then everybody is going to be pointing the fingers at that old coach. First and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. They'll work the left side. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. Mayfield picks up five with the carry. 
They line up at the 28. Second and five coming up here. Four wide receivers in the formation. Manning back to throw. He looks. Got hit as he threw. And it falls incomplete. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Third From their own 28-yard line. Third down. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Sheds one tackler. And he's tackled at the 38. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. It looked like he took a pretty good shot on that play. I think he'll be up and running again in no time. First and ten. Ball on the 38. The Ducks set up in the gun. Manning still has it. Across the middle. Complete. What a catch. Tackle at the 46-yard line. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass by the quarterback. And they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. First down. New Mexico brings in the nickel here. Manning, hands off. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. They get about 10 yards on that play. From the 36-yard line. Second down and short. Easy call here. Give it to the playmaker at running back. He's taken down at the 34. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. First down, 10 yards to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Manning has four receivers lined up here. It is he throws. Someone got a hand on it. Mayo was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. They'll continue to try to blow these guys out even more as they go no huddle. Manning with four wide receivers. Takes off a tackle. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. So the halfback comes away with his third rushing score of the day. This guy's been a very big factor in this game today, Coach. Yes. This would be a different game if he wasn't on the field. He's accounted for 18 points today. Not bad for a day's work. First and 10, ball on the 27-yard line. Manning is back in the gun. Gets it up the gut. Brought down at the 28-yard line. They get a yard on the play. It's second down. Manning with three wide receivers. Gives it off. Gets that one. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Yeah, you know what they say about luck. What's that? Yeah, it's when hard work meets opportunity, my friend. Looking, he lets it go. Incomplete pass. Bussing was the intended receiver on the play. And that'll make it fourth down. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Needs this pass, steps up, throws it deep downfield. Caught! And that reception put him over 100 yards on the day. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. And that's why he's so valuable to this football team, Kirk. He's a big-time college football player. Look at the throw. He's rolling right. Throws. The senior makes the catch. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. It's second and four to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. Manning unloads. Harris brings him down at the four. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Under heavy pressure, and they get the sack. It's second down. The 
Lobo. Line up with six defensive backs. In this drive rolls to the right, lets it fly, and it's caught for the touchdown. This guy's ringing up points like a cash register. We're talking about five. I said five touchdowns for this quarterback. What a day! down. They'll work from the shotgun. They go with the run. He jukes him. Barrett with a takedown at the 20. That's now 100 yards rushing on the day. Brad, that's just hard-nosed running, and it gives him another solid day at the ballpark. From their own 20-yard line. Second down and around one to go. They come out with three wide receivers. He throws it. Complete. What a catch. Hall with the tackle at the 34. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. It's one of the things that can happen if a defense brings the extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. And this kid is talented enough to see those receivers. It's not easy to get the ball past those big bulldozers when they're flying right at you. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. from their own 35-yard line. It's second down. The Lobo bring in their dive package. He's into the open field. There's a missed tackle. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. And remember one thing that this coach said. They will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Three wideouts here. Mayfield gets the call again. Juke move. And he's taken down at the 45. Mayfield gets three yards on the play. It's second down. They line up in the shotgun. Here's the give. He's hit and got away. Johnston brings him down at the 37-yard line. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right, because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. Yeah, 82. Manning, back to pass, throws a bullet, hands it to the senior. Vincent with the tackle at the 24-yard line. Coach, you got something for us there? Yes, I do. With that last throw, he's thrown for over 300 yards in this game. I know the defensive coordinator is kicking and hollering right now on the sidelines. First and 10, ball on the 24-yard line. Oregon lines up with three receivers. Manning with the give. Touchdown. How'd you like that last score, Lee? Well, what I like about this kid is his nose for the end zone. With that score, his total now is four touchdowns on the ground for this game. Unbelievable. First and ten. Ball on the 40. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. Great move. The 10. They get in. Touchdown. And that's his fifth rushing touchdown of this ball game. Five touchdowns in one game is something you can get away with in high school, but not in college football. We're witnessing a truly amazing performance by this young man. And this blowout is finally over. Dirk, what'd you think of this one? Well, this is no big surprise. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Oregon 69, New Mexico 6. So for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye, everybody, and thanks for tuning in.